Let's program and be creative. It's time for MIT App Inventor. In this video, we're going to go over the coding for our lyrics compressed game, where you guess the song based on the lyrics. This is the activity that we've been doing. You can see on the class page, I gave you the media that you would need. I also gave you songs that were compressing because they have a lot of the same words. Click on this and you can see there's the song name. Here's the video link if they guessed the song correct that we would show of the song. Here's the lyrics and we have a bunch of these songs. We're actually going to use this today to code our, our game. On day one, I asked you, because you have enough experience this year in AP Computer Science Principles, to actually design this on your own. So I gave you the picture. You can look at my components and you actually see how I designed that. That was screen one, and this was screen two. And I also gave you the code solution. So if you click on this, this is the actual solution. So this video is going to walk you through how to actually code this app. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're over here. And let me just go ahead and refresh my companion. You can see we coded, designed and coded the home screen. It plays some of the songs using the player. Let me just quickly show you. Here's all the code for screen one. Here's the songs we have. It also works if I click the image so you can see. There's Old Town Road. So you can see it's picking randomly the songs. All right, let's go. Can you guess the song name from there, the Lydia Briggs? So here's what we need to start with. All right, so what do we want to do? First, we need to grab the things we need from here. We're going to make some variables. They're going to be dictionaries that are going to hold the content from this. So over here, let's first do that. And to do that, we're simply going to go to variables. I'm going to pull this in. And I'm going to call it song and video links. And this is going to be a dictionary. I'm going to fill in the dictionary with a bunch of that. And, and you can kind of see this here. You can see I'm going to need to make these two guys. And all it simply is is the song name is going to be the key. The video link is going to be the value. So whenever I put in the song link, it'll give me the video link from this document here. Song and lyrics is going to be the song name and it's going to be the lyrics I'm going to copy from that same document. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have ten of these. So let's add those pairs. So I want to make another one also. So I'm going to make a variable, pull it out, and this is going to be song and lyrics. Right now, let's put in all the song names and then duplicate it because the only parts that are going to change is the value. So let's go. This is a song name. I'm going to copy that. Come back over here. That goes in there. Here's another song name. That goes in there. <laughs> Can duplicate it because the song name is going to be the key always. Now I need to go back and add in my other stuff. So, for example, my lyrics here, for example, my video, I'm going to copy that. That is for Wobble. My video links are up here. I'm going to copy this. That is for Purple Rain. I'm going to put that here. <laughs> So there, you should have that. 
this dictionary, pretty much if you give it the song name, it will give you the video that goes with that song. Now this variable, song and lyrics, if you look up the song name, give it the song name, it'll give you the lyrics. We need to copy the lyrics in there. So I give you all the lyrics that we compressed in topic 2.2, data compression, and we're just gonna copy these in, and then we will start to compress this stuff. leave them there and just to start we have that but image home I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly do that go to open another screen with screen name fill it in with text and the screen I want to go to is my home screen my home screen is called screen one that's done now I'm going to need a couple different variables to kind of work with. So let's actually first make our variables. So, and you can actually look here. These are all the variables that we're gonna need. We're gonna need word compressed lookup. So it's gonna be when we compress lyrics or words, we're gonna to have to keep it as a, with a value. And we're gonna use this dictionary to look up a word to decompress it. We're gonna have blank spaces, which are gonna be put in the, in the locations of words that are duplicated when we're compressing. We need to have the song name. We need to have the hint word. We need to know how many words we compressed in these lyrics. We need to have the lyrics and we have the need to have the lyrics compressed. So let's go ahead and make those. So I'm gonna pull out, this is word compressed lookup. And this is just gonna be an empty dictionary. I'm going to need a compressed count so this is compressed word count, and that's just gonna simply be zero. I'm gonna need blank space. That's gonna be text. And I'm simply gonna do a space, and then I'm gonna do shift in the key next to zero on your keyboard, so I can do underline. I'm gonna do one, two, let's do three of them, and another space. So this is like a blank space that's gonna replace repeated words in our lyrics. We got that, got that. What else am I gonna need? I'm going to need, obviously my song name. That's just gonna be empty text for now. I'm also gonna need my lyrics, the empty text. I'm also gonna need my hint word and that's gonna be when someone presses this button right here, um, that'll be the hint word that we add back in or we decompress the data that we compressed. And what else will I need? I will need lyrics compressed. So even though I have lyrics, I need to have lyrics compressed we're gonna to use to hold the compressed lookup values and actually use the, do the decompression. All right, so these are everything that we kind of need. So this new song, anytime we click it, we're gonna update the song. Well, we can go ahead and do that because we're gonna build a procedure. So when someone clicks button new song, what do I wanna do? Let's make a procedure. I'm gonna call it update song. Now let's add in our comments so you know what's going on here. So I'm gonna say update song to guess for the user. And one, I wanna hide the video, which is the web viewer. So if I won by guessing the correct song, I wanna hide that anytime someone presses new song. Number two, I wanna clear words compressed look up because it's a new song. Three, I want to clear the text box where you guess the song name. So that is this. So if someone typed in the name and guessed it right, I want to clear that as well. Number four, I want to reset the compressed word count to zero. So 
So that's up here. I want to reset that because I'm going to compress a new song and I'm going to need some more space. Number five, I'm going to pick a random song from the dictionary. So a random new song, right? Because we are updating it. Number six, what am I going to do? I'm going to get the lyrics using the song name just picked from a from song and lyrics dictionary number seven got a lot going on in here i'm going to press the lyrics by the same word number eight i'm going to get the hint so it's going to be the first word hint for the user so this got a lot of stuff going on here and i can go ahead and finish this out by just simply calling update song now when our game first starts or when our, we come to the screen we also want to update the song so there's not just a blank screen so i'm going to click on lyrics game pull out initialized and i'm also going to just simply call update song so this is kind of the main driving force for our game so this procedure is going to call a couple other procedures so hide the video which is the web viewer so i can do that this is the web viewer i'm gonna pull this in and pull this in and i'm gonna say false but you know what later on i might want to turn this on so let's just get in the habit of making procedures that kind of make a little bit more sense for us so i'm going to make a procedure and I'm going to call it show video. And this is just going to be a simple procedure. So let's call it show video. And let's add in our comments for this. And this is going to show video. Maximize the size of the web viewer to show the video and hide. So, so I'm going to pull this down. Now, instead of just saying false, I want to pass input to know if it's true or false. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to click on the settings icon and I'm going to drag an input. My input is going to be show. And then I can just pull this down and connect it. So if I pass true to show video, it'll show the web viewer. If I pass false here, the web viewer will be is it visible? False, it'll hide that. So this is just a really quick um, procedure that we can add. I'll just kind of move it out of the way. So now, number one, hide the video. So I can call this procedure and I can simply put in, to hide it, I put false, which is going to make sure that's gone. Clear word compressed lookup. Well, remember that is, it's up here. So I'm just gonna grab my set and I wanna clear it. So I'm just gonna make it another empty dictionary cause we're gonna compress it. Clear the text box for the game. So that is text box song name right here. I wanna grab the text part, which is set text here. And I just wanna make it blank. And what that does is if they type the right name here, so for example, if I type God's plan, it will simply, if I got everything right, it will erase it when I get the new song. Reset compressed word count. Since we are starting a new song, I wanna reset this as well. I'm, I don't have a bunch of words compressed. And the compressed word count really is what's gonna show here. So hint says nothing right now, but it's gonna say like hint 10. So in essence, it would look like this. If I compress 10 words, it's gonna look like this, hint 10. And when you click on that, it's gonna say hint nine and hint eight and hit seven until you get down to one. So really, compressed word count is what's gonna show the amount of words that we compressed, and it, which are in essence the amount of hints. So whenever we want a new song, we also want to make sure that's zero. Pick a random new song from the dictionary. So I want to set my song name. I'm going to come here and that's where we made all these. So I want to pick a random song from a list. So list has 
pick a random item from a list. But here's the thing. This is not a list. Remember, this is a dictionary. So these are keys. These are the song names. And then the key gives me either the video or the lyrics based on the variable that I'm doing. Song and video links or song and lyrics. But I only want the key part of it. Well, if you go to dictionary, you can see get keys. And it returns a list of all keys in the dictionary. And that's exactly what I want. It's going to return all of these. It also has get values, so it will return all of these, for example. But I want this, get keys, because it's going to give me a list. So pick a random item from the list. I only want the keys. And I can choose either one because they're both the same. Let's just do song and lyrics. So now this is going to say, give me these song names, which is this part. Pick one of these random things. So it's going to pick one of these guys. And now that's the song that we're going to compress. Now lyrics. You can see I've got my song. Now get lyrics using the same the song name we just picked. All right. So my lyrics is right here. And I want to get the lyrics from here, from this dictionary, using the song name, which is one of these keys. So I'm going to go back to dictionary. And they have get value for key. Now there's two things here, get value for key and get value for key, for key path. Make sure you're not using key path. You want just to get this one. This one is the difference. It's for nested dictionaries. So you can have a dictionary inside of a dictionary. Um, but we're not even concerning ourselves with that. But it is capable. You just want to, if I give you the song name, you want to give me those lyrics. So I'm going to pull out this get value. The key is my song name. So I'm just going to go here so I don't have to scroll up. The key is my song name. The dictionary is song and lyrics. Now, I just want to show you that this is working. So I'm going to pull in my text box song name. Because we've added some code, I'm going to pull in this. And I'm going to make this just a quick little join statement. And why not? Let's put in our this. I'm going to put in the empty text box. And I'm going to do slash in which is move to a new line. And then I'm going to put, actually I'll do slash in slash in. So it'll skip a line. And I'm going to put in my lyrics now. So just so you know what we're doing. Remember inside of button song, I'm calling update song. So it's going to test this code right now. It should hide the web viewer. And just so we can check this, if I turn this on, when it refreshes, it's going to hide. So look, you see, I turned it on and then it's still hidden. And that's because when I come here, the first thing I do inside of when the screen initializes, it calls this. And I just noticed something. This is actually the song name. So I made that completely wrong. That's what they're going to use. I don't want that one. I want this one, the lyrics. So I can pull out this text, but let me show you something. Since these are both text boxes, I can simply select that. All right, so let's do a refresh of the companion screen. You can see Old Town Road is showing up. Now here's an issue. It's not really taking up space. So you can see that song name, this is lyrics. Let's make this fill parent. Let's also click on multi-line. And there you go. So you can see I'm updating this text box to show you that it's picking a random name. You have the song name, which is what I put at the top. I have two backslash ends, which says go to the next line, then go to the next line. And then I have the lyrics, which is that. But since we have button song working, I can actually click on this. And you can see it changes. It picks a random song. So all these lyrics coming from right here. Now, I do want, like in Wheel of Fortune, you know they're always capitalized. 
Um, so I want to do that as well. So where are we going to do that? When we get our lyrics, when we pick it, we can simply add an uppercase. So I'm going to click on text. Uppercase is right here. I'm going to pull that and put that there. So now if I click new song, you can see there's Joanna. There's Cupid Shuffle. Everything is uppercase. Pretty straightforward. So we got that part working. In the next video, we will work on how to compress these lyrics. And in the following video, we will work on how to decompress the lyrics. And then the last video, we will work on checking the answer and playing the game. So go ahead to the next video.